Hi, my name is Jeanette, and I blog at CountryDesignStyle.com. Welcome! I am going to show you very, very quickly how to make a large floppy bow like this. Now, I'm using burlap, pretty easy to work with, but this will work with any ribbon. So, all you need is ribbon. This is about six inches wide, so you need some type of burlap or ribbon, and then a small, I'm using twine, but if you've got some kind of a big like a red ribbon or something like that. You can also use just a small bit of curling ribbon to do this or you can use um, even some floral wire even to kind of to hold everything together and I'm doing this without actually tying a bow. So I'm going to show you how to do it. I haven't even separated this yet. Take the little ribbon off. So on your big ribbon you will need about six feet long um, and, and it varies according this one here if you look I've got actually four what I call tails on it so to make this one exactly like this with the extra tails you'll need um, I'll, I'll show you what all you'll need you'll need six feet to get the long tails like this with the, the little ears okay so and about six feet I mean not quite but I let me pick up my roll <laughs> sorry I dropped it um, and most of my videos, I try not to do any editing, you know, I'm just going to go for it. You know, there's going to be mistakes. Oops, that's okay. So, I've got about six feet of ribbon here. I'm going to find my center point right here, and I'm going to gather it, okay? Um, before I go too far, though, I am going to cut another piece that is about, oh maybe three feet okay so I got two pieces now I got a six foot and just a little three foot piece now my six foot piece I'm gonna find the center of it and I'm gonna gather it right here okay pinch it together then I'm going to take this and make my ear however big I want it I can make it bigger if I want or I can make it a little bit smaller whatever I want so I'm gonna make an ear and I'm gonna pinch it Okay, now I should have already cut this. I'm going to cut some twine and I'm going to cut probably about two or three feet, something like that. You can cut it, cut anything extra down if you need to. So I'm going to take my twine. I've got an ear hanging over here on this side. So I'm going to put, take my twine and I'm going to wrap over this ear. Okay, and I want to keep that this is my ear over here and I'm going to make just a quick little knot to hold everything good. So this is my ear on this side, on actually my right side. So now I'm going to make my same ear, the same size, on the other side. Just bunch it up, okay? Then I'm going to take that twine that's kind of tucked down in there, this little bit of twine, and I'm going to wrap around it so that it stays bunched up together. And I'm going to tie it, okay? Just like that, okay? Now, I've got a bow. I did not tie any knots. I didn't do anything. Now, you'll notice, though, this is kind of ugly right in here. You know, it doesn't look so pretty. So to pretty that up, I'm going to take my three-foot piece that I cut, and I am going to take an ear on one side and a tail, and an ear on the other side and a tail. I will gather this up in the center again, and I will lay this right over everything. Okay? Just like this. Just lay it right over, let it bunch up a little bit, make it kind of look neat, slightly neat. You know, just gather it up. Okay? So I got a tail on one side and ear on the other. I keep hiding my face, but that's okay. I want you to see this more than me. So I'm going to gather that up just like that. Isn't that cool? <laughs> okay, now I've got it pinched down under here underneath. I'm going to find my twine on either side. Somewhere in here's my twine. I'm gonna find it and again just wrap around it and tie tie just I just tie just a single little tie. Tie it up. Okay. Now because that's my final one, I may go ahead and tie that in a double knot instead of just, you know, one. I'll double it up so that way it stays tight. Now if I want, that's pretty much it. Okay. Did I get it all? Oh, I didn't get my front part. <laughs> Okay, we're going to make sure that we gather it up completely. Again, I do not re redo these. These are live. That's just exactly the way they are. Okay, I've gathered it up. 
so that my my thing goes over this. I go dark here. Okay, and I've got it up, and I'm just going to tie it in the back. I caught both ends. That's what I did. I only caught the back side, not the front side. So I tie it up, and that's all there is to it. Now I can cut these here if I want. They're in the what's in the back of the bow. I can use these to tie them onto a wreath. I can tie it onto a package or something, so it's kind of good to kind of keep those on there. And I've got this big, beautiful bow with four tails completely and two big floppy ears. And I didn't even tie anything. So it's very easy to do. Here's one. You can kind of manipulate it around if you need to. This does not even have the wire in it, which wire ribbon is easy. It makes it a little bit easier to do it. But you just kind of adjust it around until you get the look you want. And that's my easy tip. For bows. If you like this, follow me at countrydesignstyle.com because I've got lots of easy DIY tips and lots of woodworking. Thank you all for watching. Bye, everybody. Oh, bye. Got my stop button. <laughs>